Good afternoon, everyone. So, welcome to this research coursework. So, as I can see, 68 participants in the online mode, and all of you over here. So, uh, most welcome to our live today. As I can see, most of the topics have been covered. And when I came, our deputy librarian, Dr. Tapas Kumar Das, was taking uh, regarding this publications and general suggestions. So we have gone through the plagiarism, indexing, finding a journals. So most of the things you have been research ethics has already been covered. The routine is with you. So you know I'm going to take the topic of uh, impact factor of journal, the journal citation. And the related matter, H index, G index, I index, we will cover today. I have been assigned two periods, one from today and next on Monday from 10:30 to 11:30. Yes, 10:30 to 11:30. So today, what I am going to discuss with you, I will give you the printout or the by mail, we can send the study materials. So basically, we are here. One? WhatsApp group. So it's better that I'll send you in the email. So basically, we are here to go. You are here to complete your coursework, PhD coursework. And we are here to help you in your coursework. So once this schedule, uh, by Monday, your coursework will be completed. So you are already going through some of your research works. You have already started. No. So in my topic, what I'm going to tell and the impact factor of journals, as you uh, have seen in the previous class, how to find your uh, matching journals, how to match your article, which journal you can publish. So by relating to publications, see we have been, what are plagiarism, how to avoid plagiarism. Have you gone through the references, how to make references? Any topic has been covered on that? Not yet. When you are writing any article, you have to prepare the references at the end of article. Have you gone any classes on that? Okay. So why we are publishing and why we are uh, why we are writing articles and why we want to publish? Any idea? Yes, exactly. To be honest, we want to earn the points. And depending upon the points, when we are facing any interviews, be in the police service commission, be in any way in higher education, when we are have come to the higher education, when we have come to the university, publication matters a lot. We and this platform where we are, we are all the assistant librarian and onwards deputy librarian, librarian. We have also we have to sit for net set. We have also published related to our field library information science. So we have to publish to earn points so that when we are going to face any interview, so we can score much more higher than our competitors. If you have you have not seen any the any of the college service commission criteria and all that, but you must go through it through the websites in the form. The criteria for interview when we have qualified the net set. So when you are going to face the interview, on which criteria you will be evaluated. It will not be only on your uh, scoring of uh, BSc, MSc, or so and so. What is your output? What is your research output? Recently, we have seen that PhD is compulsory for entrance into the university services. So when we are going to apply for an interview, how much we have published per paper, how much we are going to get the marks. And 
depending upon that marks i can compete or i can come out with more uh, number than the other competitors so this is my criteria to earn the points so where we have to publish we can publish anywhere but that will not get good points to get good points where we need to publish how to write article how to make the references we can make the references automatically we don't need to type so once if we are going to publish or we have prepared any article related to our topic and we want to publish that we are sending to different journals suppose i have sent to one journal but they have not accepted then again that article i can send to another uh, journal related to my field if they accept it they are asking for another kind of another style of references so will i type those references again or there are some ways there are some automated method in which we can change the citation style bibliography or references we can change so i will go to that things afterwards today i will give you some uh, the related, topic related some short definitions what is the matrix why we are measuring the matrix suppose we are having any fever so what is the uh, instrument to measure that thermometer is there okay so meter is there to measure the distance we are measuring in kilometer meter such as liquid we are uh, millimeter and so, so on likewise in case of journal there are some metrics how to measure a journal which journal is much more popular which journal is less popular so if i am doing any research work in my field if i want to search something for my research work where can i find more authentic information if i want to search something on the internet lots and lots of information but related to my topic which journal you know uh, that journals are the providing the fresh information we are consulting books we are consulting print books e books etc but in case of journal they are providing the fresh information so for research we need fresh information right so where in which journal we can find our related topic related information fresh and what nano things what recent developments in my field is going on we have to find in journals and to score much good marks in interview i need to publish certain uh, such and such articles suppose in journals or in case of books in form of books or article so before i go to the journal metrics that is metrics means to measure something so how we are going to measure the journal impact factor impact means the pressure the popularity a journal has why this journal is popular whether and which journal is popular in my field how will i find that i will give you some short definition once you have completed this course work you will have to sit for evaluation in simple word you will have to sit for an exam that will be short uh, answer type maybe uh, this multiple choice question so when i am going to complete this i will give you some short definition of this matrix so that all of us are not coming from the science background and this some social sciences background so this small definition will help you to uh, memorize why this matrix are important and what this matrix means okay and in the next class i will help you so how you will find the references how we will build the references automatically and how you will change can you see the screen so relating to research you have gone through lots of definition in the previous three or four classes you have started your classes from 14 that is tuesday and today we are there on friday so from tuesday you have gone through a lots of definition of research right so i'm 
quitting this research definition. Research means to finding something in your particular field. What, so what is research matrix? As you can see on the screen, it is a quantitative indicator. Which journals are popular, which are not, that will find. Research matrix are quantitative indicator or measure that provides some evidence of the impact of a research output. A research output can be a journal, a journal article, a book, a book chapter, or overall research productivity. Right? Is this clear to all of you? Sure. Is it all right? <laughs> Is it all right? Is it okay now? Yes. So what is research metric? It is a quantitative indicator or measure that provides some evidence of the impact of a research output. So whatever research we are going to do or whatever research is going to make, what impact it has, that is measured by the research metrics. So a research output can be a journal, journal article, book, a book chapter, or overall research product. So research metrics include a variety of measures and statistical method for assessing the quality and broader impact of scientific and scholarly research to track the researcher impact. Researcher impact means our impact. Whatever we are doing in our field, how much impact we are doing, whatever we are publishing related to our topic, how much impact it has on the society, what popularity it has, that will tell the research metrics. Suppose I'm doing some research on chromosomes or genetics. So what are the things, what are the things available? Where from I will extract the information. I will search the high impact factor journal so that I will extract fresh information and much more reliable information. So research metric measure the impact and provide insight into the influence of the specific journal publications, individual articles, and author. So, whenever any particular article, what impact it has, any uh, three kind of uh, impact, I will uh, through the concept map, I will show. One is journal publication, why such and such journals has more impact factor. Individual article may have impact factor as well as author impact. Type of research metric, the impact metrics can be divided into four broad categories from which a wide variety of unique indicators can be derived. Citation-based metrics. Whenever we are providing any citation, you know what a citation is? So citation-based metrics means when consider the number of times your publications have been cited in other research publications. How many times your citation has been, uh, your article has been cited by any author that comes to our email? Suppose some uh, one has cited my article, so by mail they are informing me that such and such has cited you. 
So your uh, weekly impact factor or weekly author, particular author, they are sending me through mail. So that is citation-based matrix. Automatrix is how people interact with your research output in both traditional media and social media. So what is your publications? We have book talks, we have in newspaper, some talks on a particular publication, on any book or any article. So some discussion is going on. So this discussion on traditional media, that is newspaper, TV, news, journal website, or in social media, Twitter, Mendeley, these are the different. Mendeley is a reference management tool where you can uh, automatically come all the references. So how the people are interacting with your research, both in traditional media and social media, is known as alternatives. These are the simple line definitions of few metrics. As I told earlier, how we are measuring different things, there are some definitions as we used to uh, see in our class 10, that some definition we have to memorize in physics. Likewise, these matrix also have some definition to understand. And afterwards, I'll take you to the practical on uh, Monday, I'll, when I'll take the class, I'll show you the impact factor journals as well as author and this uh, publications. So journal matrix is the, consider the pattern. What is journal matrix? Journal matrix consider the impact of a given academic journal by looking at the number of citation it's published articles received. So where I will publish, where I want to send, suppose I am new in this field. I am a research scholar. I want to publish something. So first, uh, what we start with, we start with the conferences because conferences are the soft format. Conferences provide the topic and um, they accept, they easily accept. So once you have starting your publication, so you start with the conferences, first with the national conferences, then with the international. So these will also carry the marks in your interviews or further higher position. So these for the newcomers, for the conferences or the soft corner where you can publish, okay. Your teachers will be there. They will help you to refabricate uh, your articles. So once you have come to the field, you are now uh, easy with the uh, writing articles, publications. Now you are going to search for the high impact factor journals. Which journals are more popular in my field? where I can uh, publish my article to earn more points, more uh, rewards, more publicity. So these are the, what is uh, a particular journal which is looking the number of citation is published articles received. So once you are polished, now you are master of your uh, article writing. Now you will search for the journal which are, have more impact. So these are the journals, or these are some uh, journals where if I publish, they will provide, they will catch more citations. People are looking those journals, more viewers are there for those journals. So once I will publish in those journals, they will have more citation. I will get, my article will get more popularity. I will gain much more rewards. In case of, uh, in our cases also, when we, are when we are applying for any promotions, we have to show our publications. Even yearly annual report, when we are providing, we are providing the articles what we have published in this particular year. So this assistant librarian onwards, they are also in the academic grade pay, that is AGP, and it is equivalent to the teachers, right? So journal metrics will tell you which uh, article they are if, they, if you are uh, publishing in this journal, popular journal, they will catch more citation. We, our articles will gain much more popularity. So based based on those uh, based on those popularity, there is Vidwan databases. 
where there is a hub of Vidwan database from where the experts are choosing. Experts in different field, experts call for different interviews. So these experts, these uh, higher positions, higher authority are chosen from a database called Vidwan database, which is based on the publication. Those who have more publication, more impact factor, people are citing more articles from them, they will choose in for, they will be called as an expert for different interviews, right? So the, there are different steps. So advanced metric is the consider the patterns in citation and publication data to derive a variety of specialized indicator for impact analysis. Okay, so advanced metrics, what they consider, they derive a variety of specialized indicator for impact analysis. So these are automatically provided in the journals. The journals, title page, impact factor is given. In my previous classes, as Kapushka was showing you, the impact factor of the journal was given. The journal was listed according to the impact factor. The journal which has more impact factor was on the top of the list. So these advanced metrics, this machine, the scoopers, web of science, they are automatically deriving and putting on the web, right? Now came citation-based metrics. What is citation count? What is citation impact? I'll show you some practical, then I'll come back to you. Can you see this icon, Mendeley? This M, small m, can you see on the screen my cursor? So this is a Mendeley desktop. Suppose. Suppose I wrote an article. I am new in this field. I want to publish some article. I wrote an article and I want to provide how to provide references, what is citation, whatever I was uh, till now from 4 to 4.30, what I am going is theoretical. So I'll show you what is citation, how, how to prepare. Suppose this is my article in this world, right? I have wrote an article. So I click on the references. My article is complete. I click on the references. Over here, this icon is again coming, right? Suppose this is my one paragraph. I want to prepare the references of this article and I want to send it some journal. Suppose I have sent it somewhere, but they have not accepted. Now I want to, and the next journal where I want to send, they want something different kind of bibliographical style. So uh, now they want APA 7th edition. So from references, I choose APA 7th edition. Over here, this is my first paragraph. And I want to insert citation. Can you see on the screen, insert citation? This is a collection. When I was doing my research, I have collected some article regarding my topic. So suppose this uh, paragraph where I want to insert, I've taken this one. 
from this article i had taken so i want to cite that okay i have taken this particular thought from this author so i have cited him there is one more paragraph suppose this one sentence is my paragraph so i want to insert citation over here i'm going to my library and suppose i have taken this idea from this particular author this particular paragraph i have taken from another author and i want to cite that at the end of my article if i want to prepare a list so these are the authors which i cited over there and these references are automatically taken it will come automatically to your article. so this is done with the help of a site reference management tool called mendeley this is open source software anyone can use so it is easy to prepare the references at the end of your article and it is easy to use the citation this idea i have taken from this particular author so it is easy to use this citation as well as preparing the bibliography now i'm going back to theoretical part that is citation based method so what is citation now clear to you so what is citation based citation based matrix so citation based matrix means the research matrix look at the number of times your publication have been cited by other researcher within a given article database within one article how many times i have been cited by the other researcher that is citation based research matrix if your research is cited frequently in other academic literature it is the indication that researchers is making a significant impact so what are the example of citation based matrix citation count citation impact h index and i10 index so this h index i10 index is were there in the previous class right so what are these things the aggregate number of academic citations <laughs> a given publication or group publication has received that is citation count you are counting the citation and the citation impact means the average number of citation a given author receives per publication in within one article how many times that has been cited by the other researchers that is citation impact and what is h index the consider the citation impact alongside productivity to determine researcher consistency of impact that means suppose i have given one article that has been popular that has been uh, given many citation by different authors but productivity means so within one year i had given certain articles after that my period of uh, promotion is not there so i have not published or due to some unavoidable circumstances tabletes i have not published so this productivity trend will reduce so this h index tell you that how continuous you have been writing right there is no gap in between your previous article and new article so this h index tell you the consistency of it is it clear to all of you how consistent you have been in your publication an i10 index means the number of publication 
in a group of publications that have been cited at least 10 times. Next come the altermetrix. As I told you earlier also, how people are interacting with your research in pro, uh, traditional media or social media, that is the altermetrix. If your research is being widely read, discussed and shared, in the newspaper statesman, sometimes we are taking, going through the book reviews are there. Such and such, there are so many books are published everywhere. But certain selected books have been discussed. Their book reviews have been provided. So how your book reviews, how your publication has been discussed in newspaper or social media or in Twitter. So these are the altometrics. So these, at first, all these are very interconnected. And it is very difficult to differentiate between them. So we are discussing over here some of the basic definition. And I will provide you with the materials to go through it. And if you find any difficulty, we, will, we can con discuss today also, as well as we can go for the practical of these things. So what are the standalone altermetrics? So how many mention and share? All of you are uh, familiar with the Facebook likes, dislikes, 1.5 million or 1.5K. Then suppose certain metrics after that, uh, if there is uh, more viewers, more subscribers, you are paid for that. Such and such things is there. So these metrics, uh, in case of publication, how many mentions you are getting, how many shares, views, downloads, ratings, reviews. Now the comes uh, aggregate altermetric. Uh, aggregate altermetric means altermetric attention score. Indicate the amount of attention a given research output has received based on weighted count of various standalone indicator tackled by altimetric tools. So as I told you in case of making references, automated references can be provided. You can provide references depending upon the requirement of any journal or any publication. In case of references, if I have sent this article somewhere, they were asking for APS style. Now they have rejected and I want to send another article, another journal where they're asking for Chicago. So just at the click of one mouse, if I change it to Chicago manual, the whole references or the things will change to Chicago. According to Chicago manual, they have changed. Same is the case with the automatrics. Automated, they are automatrics. They are collecting the data from the different databases, different publication, which article are more popular, who are the viewers, how many downloads. Even they by mail, they are informing the author that your particular uh, article has been cited by such and such people. This is your statistics for this week. Your, when we are publishing any article, we are providing them online. What we need to do for popularity of publication, we, there are certain platforms where we have to provide. Those journals which have more popularity, we will provide there. We will provide our article open access so that more and more viewers will come. So these are the things how we can make our articles popular and this metrics will increase for and citation will increase. So these are the terms. Altimetric attention score indicate the amount of attention a given research output has received based on weighted count of various standalone in indicator tackled by altimetric tools. So all the databases web of science is because they are using these different altimetric tools. Which publication is gaining popularity? How many viewers? they will indicate. 
attention score in context suppose when we are providing the email when we are uh, so email when we are communicating official mail or anything at the end of email there is a signature column is there after regards that is automatic means engraved on that we are editing according to our needs so whenever we are providing that signature within that signature if we are giving the links of our publication so whenever we are communicating for other purposes also people are uh, looking at those links they are going to the articles they are searching if they are liking they can download they can cite so these are the other ways for seeing the citation which i'll come afterwards so uh, score in context what is that the this normalizes the attention score of a given research output so how it compares to other output from similar publication date and publication in case of science new and new developments are going on in case of social science history also new developments are coming on different research field so attention score in context it what it does it compare suppose two years back what was my research on that topic what was my research and comparing with the other researchers who were doing on that topic what is my score so this comparison is done by attention score in context now we are coming to the journal metrics journal metric what it assess the impact of a given academic journal we're looking at the number of citation is published article received suppose there is such and such journal in library science in my particular if i am going to publish in that particular journal my article or publication will be more popular because the viewers they are more uh, this journal have more authenticated impact on the viewers they are selecting only few articles which have very good quality right and people who are reading those uh, journals they will cite the articles published in those journal so if you publish in highly cited journal it is more likely that your research will have a significant impact now the example of journal metrics today we are going to discuss about three metrics journal metrics author metrics and article metrics so journal metrics total cites that means yearly citation to article in a given publication as i shown you in mendeley that i have prepared an article i am citing such and such author i have taken the particular idea from that author right so i am citing that author so yearly how many citations to that article in a given publication that is total cites in a particular one year how many citation that one is receiving that is total cite right now what is impact factor the number of citations received the number of citation received by the aggregate average article in a given publication over the past two years total cite was yearly citation count right and impact factor means the number of citation received by the average article in a given publication over the past two years so this is the impact factor in the previous class you have seen the journal impact factor this impact factor that impact factor what is impact factor it is the number of citation received suppose any particular author he has been cited by many so the number of citation he has received for that particular article over the past two years is called the impact factor impact factor can be In, this is in the case of journal so five year impact factor means the number of citation received by the average article in a given publication over the last five years if we are talking about two years that is impact factor if we are talking about yearly citation received that is total cites 
And if we are talking about five year impact factor, that means over the last five years, how many citations they have received. There is EGN factor, that means weighted calculation that consider the number of citations a given publication received as well as the source of those citations. So when we are talking about this automatrix, impact factor, H index, I index, there are many scientists. There are many scientists behind this who has developed this, right? So I'm not going into the background of those scientists and who has developed this. I'm just providing the lucid information, which will help you for your uh, coursework to understand the basic of these things and <coughs> you can give a simple outcome in your exam. Right? So do any of you need any background history of this scientist who developed this or the companies who are developing this matrix? Anybody interested? If you are interested, I can provide. Are you interested in the development of this matrix or the scientists who are developing this matrix? You are interested. So I will provide you some of the sites. Slide shares are there. Uh, minimum uh, in one presentation, 40 to 43 slides are there. Authenticate sites I will provide you. The link I'll provide you. If you want to see the background or development of this matrix, who were the scientists, how they developed, you can go through it. No problem. So advanced metrics. Advanced metrics are a broad category of advanced indicator that can be utilized for in-depth impact analysis. These are not ready-made metrics. Okay. Some metrics are advanced and ready-made metrics. They have been, in case of journal, on the title page, they will tell you, this is my impact factor. And uh, you have seen the list, depending upon the impact factor, top list journals are there. So if you want to popularize your article, uh, more popularity of your article or publication, you can send to those uh, top five or top 10. But this advanced metric is not ready-made metrics. This we have to prepare and require some specialized knowledge to calculate. So analyzing the pa pattern of citation and publication data can be paint a detailed picture of a researcher impact. Suppose in case of music, what publications or who are the most cited authors? Huh? What are the publications which have gained popularity in case of zoology, in case of chemistry, in case of physics? We can provide. So this advanced metric, I'm showing you one example. So productivity train and pattern of scientific collaboration in case of bibliometric research. Okay. So what is the trend in bibliometric research? What is the trend in music? What is the trend in particular zoology or chemistry? International trend, national trend, who are the most cited author? What they have been publication? If you want to prepare that, you can prepare with the help of advanced metrics, right? What it need? It need in-depth impact analysis, you have to analyze and the pattern of citation and publication can be paint a detailed picture of a researcher impact. Example of advanced metric, normalized percentile. What it tells, express the citation count of a publication, a group of publication in a percentage manner and other publication from the same discipline and year. It is a method of comparing. Suppose in particular field, suppose in case of zoology, what is the, who is the top rank author? Who, why we are, uh, why we are saying this is a top rank author? Because through the analysis, through the research, we have found that 
it has got more impact factor it has got more hndes that we have to prove in the paper right collaboration network so it is a comparison with other article published in the same discipline and you know, in this particular suppose we are taking the parameter of 2 years or 5 years or 10 years in this particular 10 years how many publication has been made and who has been more cited that is the case of advanced metrics if any want to do they can do collaboration network a visual representation of the author institution funding agencies that a researcher or group of researcher have collaborated with can be paired with citation based metric to identify the successful collaboration i will show you some of the so music research from the uh, as i told you so collaboration network that means a visual representation of author i will take you to the example of this uh, visual representation of author institution funding agencies and based on these metrics what we are doing we are extracting the popular author on any particular field popular article or popular publication which have more citation so so can you see on the screen on music research data from 2010 to 2022 so these are advanced metric these are the example of advanced metric we are doing it to find out the particular author in particular field particular author particular publication in such and such field so in this 10 to 12 12 years so total citation who are the author author collaboration so these are the example of advanced metrics depending prepared on the authors uh, authorship and citation pattern it was done on music it takes the help of different metrics as well as the different software are there to help you to prepare the different most productive country who are the most productive country in this field who are the most productive uh, funding agencies right you can see the usa they are the most productive country and these countries which are far more
so these are the research with the help of metrics to find out the most productive country most productive agencies so taking the help of metrics these are the advanced metrics the others are not ready made different research are going on so visual representation of the author institution and funding agencies so these are the visual this will be given with the help of matrix and different software you can also prepare such kind of matrix such kind of representation of author institution and funding agencies so matrix level now the journal level matrix the topmost journal depending upon the impact factor a concept map has been shown so journal metric based on citation metrics how much citation they are receiving they are extracting the data from google scholar web of science scoopers once you are publishing the article in scoopers web of science google scholar google scholar is preparing google scholar metrics web of science they are preparing journal citation reports have you seen have you done any class on web of science you have gone through web of science you have seen the journal citation report have you seen the journal citation report you have seen in the web of science the journal citation report is there are you sure or of you in the last class we have seen the web of science in the last class mean topos kumar or ajay sharma first he shared a brief idea going that uh, we have uh, vishwa bharati has access to web of science so we log in and we <laughs> अजय और तापोष था अजय शर्मा सो वेन वी आर पब्लिशिंग इन वी आर इफ वी वॉन्ट टू पॉपुलराइज आवर आर्टिकल वी वॉन्ट टू गेन मोर साइटेशन वी हैव मोर इम्पैक्ट देन वी नीड टू पब्लिश इन ओपन प्लेटफॉर्म राइट द मोर ओपन एक्सेस इट हैज इफ वी आर गिविंग इट इन द a uh, signature panel of our email that means we are circulating our article the more we are circulating the more viewers will be there and if they find it more quality and valuable they will cite it so we will gain citations so the google scholar they are extracting from google scholar um, google scholar metrics web of science they are collecting from journal citation report from scoopers they are collecting from journal metrics so these are the term which we will we will discuss in the next class is gr snip right these are included in your syllabus i think the syllabus and routine you have with you you are familiar with these terms so h median h5 index u gain factor impact factor so if i want any definition of impact factor you can tell impact factor right now right so this is the concept map of journal metrics that means which journal is more uh, popular which has more impact factor how it is been prepared how it is collecting this is the in short this map the concept map of journal metrics is true anything to ask any confusions
I want you to take a glimpse of journal citation report. So I have logged into the Vishwabharti website from there. Intentionally, I have taken the library iPhone. So in case of novice or uh, the first time, you, how you will get this library? I want to popularize my library network website. So I went to the Vishwabharti uh, website first. From there, I'm going. I'm coming to the Vishwabharti library network. My card number is there, password is there. So once I have logged in, I will show you the Web of Science and Journal Citation Report. So all of you are having library card with you. You are using our library website. So once you go back after the class, you log into the library website and go through the um, this web of science. What is journal citation report? Why these are important? So this remote access is there on the right hand side. On clicking on Web of Science, you can access from here. And this is a very costly affair for our library. This Web of Science has not been accessed by any other university library, but we are paying a huge amount for this Web of Science. And it's very sad that most of the scholar are not using it. See, can you see the journal citation report over here? This is what we have been talking about. So once you are at home, you can log into the library website. You can go to the web of science. You can see what is journal citation report. Which journal is more popular? Why it is popular? In my particular field, which journal I can go for? Where I can publish to get more citation, more markings in the interview? The populations everywhere in the world is increasing. The competitors are on the rise and the seats are very limited. The seats in case of higher education, the seats in case of job market, in everywhere news you can see. So this is the basic thing which I have shown, the journal citation report. Okay. Now I'm coming back to this concept map. So what is journal citation report from Web of Science they are taking with the help of journal citation report. So impact factor I've already told you. Now the journal level matrix The impact factor can be used to compare journals in the same discipline. In the, my same discipline, what are the different journals I can compare with the help of this impact factor? So is Cooper source, site source uh, score is Elsevier's answer to the impact factor. This is another company elsewhere. They are helping the scoopers to provide the uh, impact factor of a journal. Essential science indicator. long-term citation ranking for highly cited journals. Cymago's journal ranking, which is provided by Scoopers. Eugene factor. The Eugene factor is score and article influence. Score adjusts for difference across the discipline. So these are the links where you can find how to publish and how to popularize your publication. We were talking about the journal level matrix. Now we are coming to the author level matrix and then we will finish with the article level matrix, right? So once we have finished journal level, we are coming to the author level matrix. So which author is much more popular? 
author level matrix aggregate the matrix of an author's publication to summarize his or her career overall once you are facing the interview you have landed into the job market you have scored well according to your publication all depend upon your publication the interview all depend upon your publication right mostly depend on your publication right there once you have submitted the form applied for the job your scoring is there they have the expert has prepared a score depending upon your past uh, examination score as well as your publication so the higher your publication is the higher your marks will be the higher your chances to get into the job so once you are in the job next what we do we go for promotions so what is author level matrix the whole career the overall career depends upon your publication so author level matrix aggregate the matrix of an author's publication to summarize his or her career overall these matrix include the h index and related measures as well as citations total a concept map is there in case of journal matrix i have shown a concept map this is the concept map of author matrix how this author matrix is there how they are preparing this is based on alternative matrix and citation matrix how these alternative matrix are been provided the academia.edu this is a site free of cost you can publish online you can if you have some articles on your hand you can suppose those articles have already been published you can give it to academia.edu research gate is there altermetrics is there so they get the information from kudus impact story and we have with uh, are you familiar with orchid so they are snatching they are collecting the information from these sources to provide the author matrix which author in a particular field is much more popular how they are preparing they are collecting the information from this different sources so citation matrix how many times you have been cited by any other researcher it has collecting the data from scopus web of science google scholar they communicate with orchid and this is scopus google scholar web of science they are taking h index and author from my citation these are the different sources from where they are collecting the information and depending on that the author matrix is provided and what this author matrix tells this author matrix tells the overall career of any researcher we are also researcher we are doing research in our own field that will take us to higher steps right in case of in case of uh, university if we have reached any particular platform then other university whether they are calling us as an expert or not that depends on our publication vidwan database is there vidwan database tell us which particular author or which particular person in part, their own particular field whether they are popular or not whether now they are publishing or not suppose there are my some teachers they have reached a level they no need any promotion in case of teaching level professor they start from assistant professor then associate then professor they have reached the professor level they do not need any more further promotion right but whether they have been called by any other university as an expert whether they will be chosen as a vice chancellor of any university that depends upon their publications how many books how many research article whether those research article have any citation suppose we are publishing but nobody is citation nobody is looking at this publication nobody has cited my article then it doesn't mean anything h index will not be there 
this citation matrix will not be there. Nobody is citing. I have so many publications, books after books, the racks are filled up, but nobody has cited those articles or any book of mine. Will I be chosen any expert for any other university? So that is the case of, in case of, if we have reached a level of promotion, we don't need any promotion, but whether we have been chosen for any expert of, for any interviews, whether we can select any candidate, whether we are promoting or whether we have publication of that high standard that the other university will call me as an expert. That depends on the author matrix, author publication. That is the overall career. The starting of career, facing the interview, at least landing into any job. Then we are further for any promotion. After we have reached a promotion, whether we will call as an expert, whether we have any impact or power, whether we will call for the, in the list of vice chancellor, that will depend upon the author's metrics. Clear? Now the article level metrics. We have talked about journal level metrics. We have talked about the author level metrics, why it is important. Now the article level metrics. The article level metrics, have you and anyone of you have heard about the Vidwan database? Are you there? This Vidwan database is been provided by Inflibnet, that is Information and Library Network. You have seen the different uh, experts, different names. Have you gone through uh, into the Vidwan database? The impact factor, the citation you have seen. Okay. So the, now the government is choosing the expert for different interviews for different things. They're choosing from with one database. Now we are coming to the article level metrics. So article level metrics include any measure of the influence of a single publication. How one single publication can influence anyone? So the most metrics are available for journal articles, but some can apply to books, chapters, or individual publication. They include the time cited, how many times any article has been cited, how many times the article has been downloaded, and all and most alter metrics. A concept map has been shown. See the map, article metrics. How this article matrix is prepared? We have gone through the mandate. If time permits, I will tell you this automated, this mandate is basically uh, open source, open source means free of cost reference management. How you can prepare any references automatically for publication. <laughs> So this Mendeley is also connecting the like-minded researcher. So this particular article, how these article metrics are prepared. You are aware about the gray literature? No. So you must be aware about Facebook, Twitter, read it, Google Plus. So these are the social media, okay? Gray literature means the some literature which has not been published. It is there in the unpublished manner. Some of the works of Tagore, his family, uh, some of the works of his family members have not been published. It is in the manuscript form still. So these are the gray literature which has not been published. So traditional media, gray literature, so they are extracting the data from these sources, from different social media, traditional media, from gay literature, as well as how many views, downloads, how many have saved my article, 
we have been publishing the article and once they have been published we are for the popularity for the gaining citation we are giving these article we are scattering these articles on open access open access means anyone can read so the more it is open access the more readers the more viewers the more the people will download and see right so there are different medias there are different platform open access platform they are not asking for any fees but who are reading your article and how many views downloads particular week particular statistics they are providing they are research ki academia is there there are different platforms so from there how many usage of your article is there they are extracting the data from these sites mainly i had shown you now the combine uh, they are compiled by altmetrix scoopers web of science they are compiling some of the metrics they are providing the metrics ready met metrics is there okay so from they are compiling uh, compiling the altmetrix now the citation metric is prepared how they are deriving the data they are deriving the data from scoopers google scholar web of science so this citation matrix and alti matrix ultimately providing the article matrix so this is all from my side for today's there are some more matrix which i told you is given in your uh, syllabus that sgr snip site score we will discuss on monday and i'll show you some practicals also on monday so anything from today's if you have any question anything curiosity is arising in your mind you can come up with let me ask from the offline first <laughs> Anyone from the offline participants, if you can. Set up for this one. Any queries? Queries from your side, offline participants. Do you have any questions? online participant if you have any queries please come up with that's how yes akansha uh, no ma'am nothing thank you hello ma'am yes can you please show the uh, how the mendeley works matlab uh, practically uh, hands on see there are basically two to three steps okay first you need to download the mendeley desktop on your uh, machine okay it is an open source software once you have downloaded the mendeley you will uh, you need to create your own library you need to prep okay screen share i'm sharing my screen yes ma'am so once you are downloading the mendeley mm -hmm. you are preparing your profile so, uh, your basic uh, information and on which particular research area you are working suppose i have prepared my uh, profile and now i have collected according since my field now i am working on library administration or library management so if i want to publish something on library management i have collected some article from different sites and i have created my own library in this way i will add 
file. Suppose I have collected some articles. Suppose this is article of my interest. Yes. I have selected add file, open. So this has come to my Mendeley desktop. Okay, okay, okay. In this way, we are creating our own library. And once my library is ready, and whenever I am writing any article, whenever we are writing any article and I want to cite something, suppose this is my paragraph of my article. If I want to cite something over here, Yes. What I'll do is I'll go to the reference. I will insert citation. Yes. Go to Mendeley. Yes. Suppose this idea I have taken from this. Then click on to the site. The citation ultimately come over here depending upon my chosen. Citation style. Yes, ah, choose citation, the citation style. style is there. Okay. I have choose insert citation, yes. open Mendeley from Mendeley. This idea I have taken from this author. I cited this author, and this author will come into my see, it has already come. Yes. Into my references of my article, it has already there. So in this way, we can work with the Mendeley. Ma'am, one more question. Can yes. we add it? Uh, the can we integrate the Mendeley with uh, uh, LaTeX? Within the Mendeley, some features are there. You can add entry manually. Suppose I'm sub, uh, looking into any article online or offline, yes. which I can add through the add file, add folder, and I can add entry manually also. Suppose in case of print book, which was not available online so in that case i will do add entry manually right yes and uh, it has uh, it is compatible with zotero and other reference management tool if you are working with zotero or anything else you can uh, extract those things uh, those articles or those references into your mental that can yep. be done Yes, it can be uh, integrated with LaTeX. A uh, LaTeX. I haven't seen that. Okay. I have to explore also. I'll see whether I can do it with LaTeX. But okay. with Zotero and EndNote, it can go with that. Okay. Okay. Any other question from online participants? As I can't see any question from offline participant, any question from uh, online participants? Oh, for sure. You have already attended. Are you using Mendele? Is it helpful? If you, there is no other question, we can uh, quit this session right now. Any more question from online participants? You can leave if you want. You can leave. Thank you. 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 Thank you.